Hi and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Thinker. Today we are going to integrate with the Discord. We'll start in a couple of seconds. It's always fun to add new features and integrations to the Home Assistant and adding Discord notifications is one of them. And unfortunately for this one, you have to have Discord server, but you also have to have elevated privileges, meaning that you should be approved to add bots to your own server. For those of you that have access to Discord server, we'll be creating integration today. Let's start by going to the developers page in Discord. The link is down in the description. First thing that we have to do is we have to create new application. Click on new application. Let's name it. It will be bearded disco bot. And here you can see that we got client ID. And this is the ID we will have to have in order for us to integrate it future on. Here we can choose an icon. We will be using Home Assistant one. OK. So at this point, we have created our application. We've added this image for the application. Here we have name. Here we have client ID. By clicking here, we will reveal our token. And let's press save. And this is it. Now let's create a bot. Yes. A wild bot has been created. We now have a username. And here are some privileges. Is this a public bot? No. Let's check other permissions. And this should be it. Let's save. At this point, we have done everything inside our Discord. And now we have to go back to our Home Assistant configuration and add some commands inside our configuration YAML file. So let's go back to the Home Assistant. Inside Home Assistant, go either to Configurator or VS Code. Okay, so it will be Platform, Discord, name will be Discord, and we have to add token here. This is the bot token. Let's jump back to verify it. Click on the bearded disco bot, click on the bot, and here you have this token. Okay. So let's add here secret as we will be using secrets file once again and the secret will be called discord token. token. The configuration here is done. Don't forget to go to your secrets file and add your discord token there. Okay, let's go back to configuration. Server control check configuration. And let's restart our server. Next thing that we have to do is we have to go back to Discord. We have to copy if we didn't copy previously our client ID. So let's go to bearded disco bot. Here we have client ID. Let's copy it. And you have to insert this information or this client ID inside the URL. And I will show you the whole URL, but you can also find it down in the description. So this is the URL and here you have to paste your client ID. So let's select server and let's press authorize. I'm not a robot and this should be it. Let's check developer tools, services, 
let's try typing Discord. And we have Notify Discord here. So there are a couple of additional steps you have to make to ensure that you will receive notifications or to be able to send them. Let's go back to, let's go to our Discord. Okay, so this is my Discord server. And what I want to do, I want to be able to send messages to a random channel inside Home Assistant. In order to do that, you have to get channel ID. How you get your channel ID is you right click on the name of the channel where you want messages to be sent. Let's press copy ID and we have now copied our ID. If you do not see this option to copy ID, what you have to do is you have to go to user settings, appearance, and here you have to enable developer mode. Okay. Now that we have our channel ID and you can have multiple channel IDs across multiple servers, all you have to do is just you have to press on a channel name and select copy. Let's go back to Home Assistant. And in order for us to test it, let's type here service data. So one will be message. We are recording Home Assistant how to Discord and target. Target has to be name of the channel we copied previously. Let me just correct this. Okay. So it will be message. And here is the message. And target is the channel where we want to send that message. If everything is okay, when we press call service, we will not receive any error. And if we go back to our Discord server, we see that now we have notification here from our bearded disco bot. And more or less, this is it. You are now free to tinker with it. Uh, you can do some kind of funny automations. Um, I will be playing a bit and putting a couple of automations here that will be pushing messages when I work on my test setup or when I record. So the messages will be going here. Of course, you can also send uh, pictures from your cameras, etc. But this is it for this Home Assistant how-to video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any kind of a comment or a question, please leave it down in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified in the future updates. Of course, feel free to join my Discord server and I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun!